Listen up, my future ARRT registry victim. Today we're talking about tube loading. That's right, the one subject where the ARRT asks, Hey, do you know how much abuse your poor x-ray tube can take before it shits itself and costs the hospital $80,000? Spoiler alert, it's less than you think. This isn't Call of Duty. You can't just spray and pray exposures until the damn thing melts. Tube loading, it's basically heat management. Every time you slam that exposure button, you're basically yeeting electrons at a target and making a fuck load of heat. 99% heat to be exact. Only 1% of that shit turns into x-rays. On a daily basis, you're basically just operating the world's most expensive space heater. There are three major victims to this heat. Anode heat capacity. Spinny disc can only take so much roasting before it cracks like your patients during registry review. Tube housing. Yes, the glass metal cocoon gets hot too. Melt it, and suddenly you've got a $50,000 light bulb with zero job prospects. And then the filament, that tiny coil that takes more abuse on a daily basis than a CNA at a nursing home. Yeah, it burns out too. Here's the random crap that the ART wants you to know for the test. They want you to know about the heat units and how they're calculated. So that's gonna be KDP times MA times time times wave factor. Heat units are basically how much radiation hell your tube just took. And yes, you need to know the waveform multipliers or else you're going to be failing harder than a toaster in a bathtub. Single phase is one. So the shittier the generator, the lower the number, right? Okay, remember we've talked about generators so many fucking times already. So the three phase six pulse, a little less shitty, that's 1.35. Three phase 12 pulse, that's times 1.14. And then the high frequency generator is gonna be 1.54. We also need to talk about cooling charts. Um, yes, they're going to expect you to read a graph during this exam, even though you haven't even read any of the textbooks that you spent $200 on so far. But know this, if the line says no, don't make the exposure. If it's too hot, you can't do it. Unless you like explaining to the physicist why you smoke the tube. And then the last thing we need to talk about is maximum loading techniques. ART loves this phrase because it sounds sexual and terrifying at the same time. It just means the max combination of KVP, MA, and time you can do without your tube tapping out like wrestler and chokehold. Basically, I need you to know a little bit about cooling charts. I also need you to know the waveform factors for calculating heat units. And basically, the 99% heat and the 1% x-ray thing. And, and remember the victims of heat. Remember the parts of the tube that can break down um, after so much heat is applied. And remember to be respectful of your tube and um, try not to do too many repeats because you're going to overheat the fucker. Alright. That's tube loading.